A new movie starring Harrison Ford and Brendan Fraser tells the story of one father's quest to develop a drug to treat Pompe disease, a potentially deadly disease that affects his two children. Pompe disease is caused when the body lacks an enzyme that breaks down glycogen for energy, leading to weakened muscles, an enlarged heart, and trouble moving and breathing. In the film Real Life Dad, John Crowley starts his own biotech company to develop a therapy for Pompe with the help of a determined researcher. In reality, the first and only life-saving treatment for the disease was developed by a group of researchers at Duke University Medical Center. Without the therapy called Myozyme, babies with Pompeii disease typically die around their first birthday. Similar to a patient with diabetes who's missing insulin, uh, in patients with Pompeii disease, they are missing this enzyme, acid-alpha-glucosidase. And so what is being done is providing this missing enzyme uh, acid-alpha-glucosidase to a patient with Pompe disease to allow the body to do the work it should have been able to do if it were making the enzyme on its own. Pompe patients get an IV infusion of the drug every two weeks. For many patients, the treatment improves heart and muscle function. One of the first youngsters to receive this treatment is now 11 years old and playing baseball. The key to successful treatment of Pompeii is early diagnosis and intervention. I think similar to Lorenzo's oil, this movie is going to um, increase the awareness and that's a win-win for all of us in the field and the biggest win of course for the patients uh, because the more the awareness, the more likely that they're going to be diagnosed and treated early. Duke doctors hope that testing for Pompeii will one day be included in the current battery of tests run during blood screening for newborns. Illinois and New York plan to add Pompeii testing to newborn screening soon. At the Duke University Medical Center, I'm Mike Garrison.